Hello everyone, this is Sunset Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Mikari from the Eternals movie, and this is one of my favorite characters after watching the movie, so she's awesome. Um, so let's go over the packaging here first, so we get the Marvel Legends logo here on top, Eternals logo, Mikari, here is the cider of Mikari, the Eternals emblem there, here is the back with the description of Mikari, here's a picture of Mikari. And then this way we'll be building Gilgamesh, which is also another one of my favorite characters in this movie. And then we already went over Icarus. Now we're doing Ikari, uh, Makari. Sprite's in this. Uh, Cersei's in this. Fastos, Kingo, and Druig. And then here's the other side art. Here is the top with the Eternals logo here. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack her open. And here is Makari out of the package here. So let's go over the accessories. So first we get Gilgamesh's uh, right arm. Um, and it also comes with an alternate fist, which we'll go over once we build them. And then here we got Makari's fists here. So yeah, we've seen these hands before. Looks pretty good. You get two of those, one for each hand. And then that's all we got for accessories for. And here is Makari up close, and I like the face sculpt. It looks pretty much just like her, what she looks like in the movie. I think she had the more of a ponytail look, like more braided ponytail than a loose one. So I guess that's my only complaint. It's not quite like the movie, but the face sculpt looks great. Uh, you got all that curly hair here. And it goes around her shoulder there. The eyes look great. Uh, cheekbones look pretty strong. Um, and then here's her suit. You get this nice silver here with some nice sculpting here. You get some skirt here. And then this little part of the skirt, skirt here flapping on the back here. And you get this like cherry red uh, throughout the uh, suit here. Her, the her color theme scheme is just red mainly throughout the uh, movie. <clears throat> and then you get this like Spider-Man whipping hand looking here, but I know it's a sign language because uh, her character's deaf and the actress is actually deaf in this movie too. Um, so, um, but if I know this is a sign language. I just don't remember what it is. And then you get this hand here, which is, uh, we've seen it before too for her to run. And yeah, I like the sculpt and the paint job on this figure quite a lot. And then uh, let's go over the articulation. So has a, she has a double ball joint in the head that goes down that far, goes up just that far. The hair kind of gets in the way, left and right. Nice head pivoting there. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation, single jointed elbows still for females. Uh, it's the other way. There we go. <coughs> goes up that far, so that's pretty good. And then you can swivel that around if you want. <coughs> Wrist could hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. Uh, she has a diaphragm joint, so she can go forward just that far, backwards that far. She gets some side to side motion, some twisting. Legs kick, kick out that far, forward that far, pretty good. Backwards, now a whole lot. Thigh cut, double jointed knees, which are also pinless. <clears throat> Ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that's McCurry for you. I really like this figure. I do recommend you get her. Uh, I know that the Eternals figures are kind of peg warmers at the moment, so maybe you can wait for her uh, to go on clearance. But she's an awesome figure, and like I said, she's one of my favorite characters in this movie. She's one of my top, like, three. I think my first one would be Kingo. Then, actually, I think it would be McCurry, and then Gilgamesh actually, and then Cersei, uh, and so on, um, and then you, yeah, I highly recommend you guys go watch the movie, I, I enjoyed it, don't pay attention to the Rotten Tomato score, it's just bullshit, because of the whole diversity aspect of the movie, I loved it, um, but, like I said, um, this is not really a movie review, this is a action figure review, and I love this figure, uh, she looks great, I wish they would do double jointed elbows for the female characters, though. But besides that, um, I would say that in the movie, she had more of the braided look uh, for the ponytail. 
But besides that, that's my only like complaint for the looks. But besides that, I mean, the articulation's decent. Um, and yeah, but that's all I got for this figure. Uh, if you guys want to check out my link tree in the description, it has my TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram. If you guys want to check those out and support me on those. But besides that, thanks for watching.